Iowa and Wisconsin. That game follows us in a few minutes on ESPN. Big Ten? Yeah, you know, Iowa's got a ton of momentum, but Wisconsin's been good at home, and I really yeah. think Wisconsin's going to pull the upset here. Hey, Wisconsin's 15-0 and at 11 o'clock. <laughs> the game's 11 o'clock. I can't go. That's circadian it. rhythms, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That stat makes me nervous, <laughs> by the way. The whole world this week has been talking yeah. about Wisconsin ending yeah. Iowa's undefeated season. Yeah. Not so fast, my friend. <laughs> Ricky Stanzi style. He avoids mistakes, and the Hawkeyes win on the road. Ooh. And welcome to Madison, where Wisconsin is 34-3 the last five years. One of those losses against today's opponent, Iowa. And the Hawkeyes enter today's game undefeated and ranked 11th in the country. We'll get us look here at how Tolzien responds to those two picks returned for touchdowns last week. His first pass attempt, and he's going to get hit by anger and sack back at the 47 of Wisconsin territory. One quarter in the books in this critical Big Ten game. Iowa and Wisconsin scoreless, but the Badgers with a third down and six in the red zone. 11th play of their drive. They love to go to their tight end, Garrett Graham, in these situations. Let's see what Tolzien does here. He Eight is. pumps going for the middle of the field intended for Graham, but it was batted down. Philip Welch has struggled this year, missing five times, including a 33-yarder against Ohio State a week ago. This is a 34-yard attempt. They got this one. And Wisconsin on the board first. Running play ball, second and goal to the outside. Ball to the end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Play did the bulk of the work on that drive, but then came out after the injury. But he's happy for his true freshman teammate. First career touchdown for Monty Ball. That drive started at the eight, and after the point after, the Badgers lead it 10 nothing over undefeated Iowa. Oyaki lined up on the left side at tight end. And Stancy going deep for Johnson. Pulianos pulled in inside the Wisconsin 30-yard line. Niles Brinkley on the coverage. Daniel Murray, the Big Ten Special Teams Player of the Week, kicked three field goals and a win against Michigan last week. This is a 37-yard try to get Iowa on the board. And he buries that one. Tolzien in trouble in a sack. Claiborne takes him down at the 31. Officially a loss of one. So a negative run play for Wisconsin. Tolzien to throw on second down, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Spave. He had four last year. That's his first in 2009. Stanzi on third down, zips that one in there. Strauss with a first down catch to the 41. Brinkley on the cover. Meanwhile, Iowa with a third down and seven. Moeaki right there, not caught a pass all day. And Stanzi in trouble. Wisconsin came with a corner blitz. Stanzi for Moeaki. He caught it. Touchdown, Iowa. Stanzi in trouble, ball loose. The Badgers tried to pick it up, and they still got it recovered by Schofield. It's rolled a fumble, Wisconsin ball. Speed kills. Absolutely. I guess that's why he's a DB. Third down and six, blitz coming, and Tolzien gets it away. Toon cannot come up with it at the five, covered by Prater, no flag. Well, Wisconsin, after the takeaway, will Attempt a 38-yard field goal. Welch made one in the first half, but he misses this one. He missed a 33-yarder against Ohio State last week. Boy, that hurts after you come up with a turnover at the Iowa 20. Fred Bielema's Badgers come up with nothing.
All right, uh, certainly not surprising based on the hit Bradford took in the first half. Reese here it's 10 10 and a third down and four and stands he going for Johnson Coolianos and he's got it again. It was 10 3 at halftime. Stansy with a touchdown pass going deep here and a fingertip catch pulled in by Allen Reisner, the backup tight end at the 41 of Wisconsin. 13th catch on the year for Reisner. Did a great job when Moyaki was out with that ankle injury for three games. Stansy pumps and Johnson Kulianos went out of bounds. He caught it, but he went out of bounds. Now, if you're blocked out, you can come back yeah, in immediately, go. and he did. Reisner now in motion. On second and short, Robinson finds a hole inside the five. Touchdown, Iowa. Hawkeyes have the lead. Stanzi with time deep middle. Mulyaki with a great catch and a flag down. What a grab at the Wisconsin 36. Third tackle for a loss for J.J. Watt. Stanzi on second and 22, completes it. To Johnson Coolianos, it's going to bring up third down in about nine. His career long is 47. This is a 48 yard attempt. That has the distance, and it's good. Daniel Murray, the Big Ten Special Teams Player of the Week, makes it a 10 point game. And why you go for it is trust. The other thing is, you know, he has a distance. That's where the Buckeyes are, if they should lose, and also Texas, depending on the outcome with Oklahoma. And USC, which has a big one against Notre Dame. As that pass is underthrown, intercepted. A.J. Eads, again, a linebacker covering a wide receiver. And it's the linebacker that has his second interception on the year. We'll give it to one of these speed guys underneath. Anderson or Gilreath. And Tolzien throwing into double coverage. It's intercepted again. Spave with his second pick of the game. And the third by Iowa. A win at Penn State and a win today at Wisconsin. A win at home over Michigan. And again, this is a team that barely beat Northern Iowa. Hung on to beat Arkansas State, yet they're undefeated. They win the Heartland Trophy. Second time in four years they've won in Madison. 20 unanswered points. As the Hawkeyes beat the Badgers 20 to 10. We'll see where Iowa is in the initial BCS standings tomorrow. A lot depends on what happens the rest of this Saturday, midway through October. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Chris Spielman, Bob Greasy, and our entire ESPN crew, I'm Dave Pash saying so long for Madison. Iowa stays undefeated. The Hawkeyes now 7 0 and potentially the only undefeated team in Big Ten play depending on what Ohio State does. We'll find out more about the Buckeyes back to Reese Davis now in the studio.